Hey y'all, uh, welcome back. Okay, so let's finish up with uh, video adding here. So we have a post, but it's giving us all these errors. Now the reason it's giving these errors is because it thinks the video is an image. And so it's trying to resize that image and create a thumbnail, which is causing all these um, errors here. And we can easily fix that, you see? because this uh, whole post thing uh, belongs to one file which is um what's the file name single post yes single post right there so where are we displaying an image here so single post no not single post actually it's post.php there we go i should have named this better you know, post.php should have had post.inc for include.php. But hey, you can make those changes on your own uh, time. Mm -hmm. So here, where are we changing things? It's where we are displaying the image. And that, if file exists, row image, because in our case, whether it's an image or a video, it's saved in the same row, the, the file link is saved there. So, what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to... Okay, so this is where we display the thing. Yes, that's where we display it. Mm -hmm. Now, we just need... Uh, what do we need here? Mm -hmm. We just need an if statement here. So that... Uh, get thumbnail... So that we don't even reach this point here. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this stuff here. Bam! Duplicate it. And then uh, let's go to path info. Where did I use that? There we go. Extension. Let's get that extension again. So I'm going to copy that and we will use it here to figure things out. Mm -hmm. So if the file exists, get its extension. Now we are getting the extension of this right here. So I will do this. Bam. Okay, so we have the extension now. So we need to check if the extension, if uh, extension is equal to uh, wait a minute, JPEG or extension b equal to jpg same thing there then we'll run with this this guy right here so like so mm -hmm. and then close that up but else we will assume it's an image it's a video but you can put an else if statement just to be very explicit about this. So I will put uh, if a statement here, copy and paste it there and put an else so that it's else if instead of that we we'll say mp4. Okay. So like this, then you can add different, uh, depending on the file extension, you can add something uh, different. So of course we won't need this get thumbnail at all if it's mp4 and then if it's mp4 we don't do image here we do something else which is uh wait a minute wait a minute let me put single quotes on the outside so we will use the video tag like this and then the closing video tag like that Okay, so I will mute this for a second, lower that like this, and then um, I actually forgot how to write uh, the video tag at all. How do you write that thing? Is it source like this? I think. I think this is probably a self closing tag. Oh my god, I completely forgot source let's see for a second here let me just try it anyway so i will say uh, 
root is what I need here. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe let me use the double quotes so that it can uh, evaluate from inside. Like so, and then use the single quotes here. That way I can copy what's in here up to there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think that's about it. There we go. So that opens up root and then post. Okay, I think that works. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Refresh. Oopsie. Undefined variable post image. Oh. Look at me there. I forgot that uh, I removed this. So we add it as it is, raw image right there. So I'll put that there. Just remove the single quotes in there like this. Refresh. Okay. Oh, it wants to download. Uh, yeah. That's one of my, uh... okay, so I think the video is here, but uh, we don't get no controls. So I'll type controls here, like that. That should do it. Refresh. Okay, so there we are. We have a video uh, right here, but uh, the width is not so good. So let's add some styling, shall we? I'm not even sure where to add the styles here, whether do I add them here or do it there. Not really sure, but let's try width and say 100%. Actually, there are styles here on, uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. That's the style. It's 80%. Yes, 80%. Let's try that. Refresh. Okay. Much, much better. Mm -hmm. So now we have uploaded a video. If I do play this, it will play. Okay, that's uh, an animation I created with my little brother. Okay, so at this point, I think uh, things are looking well. Now, if I click on this, since this has its own uh, full screen uh, click clicker here, there's really no need to put a link. So I'll delete this, I'll delete the link, I will delete that link as well, so that it's nice and clean, like this. Okay, so that's really it, how you upload a video. There's nothing more to it, actually. Uh, let me just put a break tag there for the like and comment. Uh, where is this? Oh, maybe because I didn't put a closing tag there. That's probably why we have issues there. Let me refresh again. Okay, yeah, that's looking much better. Okay, so uh, things are good. Maybe not 80% here, maybe 90%. Let's try that. See if it affects anything. Okay, no, looking good, looking good. Or if you want, you can go all the way and uh, put that 100% because usually videos are wider on the sides than long this way. So I think 100% works just fine. Okay, so let's try again one more time. This post contains a video. Browse, and let's browse for that same video. Post, and there we go. My download manager keeps wanting to download it. So there we go. And there is the video. This post contains the video and there's a video. If I click on it, no video with supported format type was found. Okay, so what happened there? We need to figure that out. Okay, so it turns out the problem was the internet download manager. I don't know for some reason it was stopping the uh, playback of these videos so just be aware of that if you have the internet download manager installed on your system it may cause such problems so let's up upload one more just to be sure video upload so I simply uninstalled it for now 
and try it again and everything went well okay so there we go my video is showing there showing okay so that's how you upload a video now if you want the videos to be playing automatically when you uh, load the page which I do not advise but if you want it you can just say auto play like that in there so that when you reload the page uh, your users will be annoyed by the playing videos because immediately the videos will start playing. However, uh, Firefox has a failsafe here where they can disable autoplay and block it. So maybe at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you add that or not. Only problem for now is that if I click, uh, let's see, edit, for example, then we have this problem, right? And also if I click uh, delete, and I have a similar problem. So let's fix those um, issues now. Okay. So first of all, we go to the postdelete.php. And before we do that, let me copy what I've already written in my post.php. Uh, Where is that? Oopsie. Where is post.php? This is the one right here. Let me find the image part, img, find it again. Okay, so this is the part right here where I uh, put an if statement. So let's see, this is the similar get thumbnail row image. So which means I can copy exactly this and put it there. Where is that? Post delete. 80% style paste okay I think uh, that does the trick so let's come back to the delete okay so are you sure I want to delete this post so we don't have that problem anymore good let's go to the edit edit a post video upload so same issue here Let's go to post. This is post delete. Is there a post edit somewhere? Is there a post edit? No, I think it's just edit.php or something. Yeah, very uh, poor choice of naming here, but it is what it is. So this is the one right here. And we have this image class. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, wait a minute. Instead of replacing all this, what I will do is I will paste it below and then delete what I need to delete in order to have exactly what I need to have. So raw image is the same, so that's good. We're instantiating the class from there, that's good. And post image, I think we'll leave that there, which is repeated here. So maybe no need to have it there as well. And then this is where we, this is the echo of the image. So it seems a little bit different. So I'm just going to cut that and paste it here. It doesn't seem like it needs a link anyway, just like it didn't need a link on the delete. So we're going to deal with that as well. I think uh, that pretty much does it. So if I refresh, and there we go post edit then you can edit your post there okay pretty cool only that in uh, post delete no need for these links to anywhere uh, so i'll remove them okay so that does it for the cleanup now we can edit uh, view full image yeah that doesn't work very well with uh, videos does it now so where is post.php here for a second? Oopsie. My computer is malfunctioning here. Okay, so where is post.php? Not in the one in classes, there it is. Oh, I think my uh, video card driver is having a fit. Okay. So view full image right here. If has image and, so let's put this and. Uh, 
Aquarius. Oh no, not again. Okay, so if that is correct, and let's copy these as well and do this here. Okay, so I'll come down here. Eh, why not repeat it? Yes. So I pull those guys out of there. Oh no, if that keeps flushing, then uh, I'm not going to have any fun anymore, will I? So I'll, co I'll cut all this out like this and put it here. And that or that. Then we show that, okay? Yeah, I think uh, that should work fine. Refresh, taking forever. Uh -huh. So now I don't have that viewful image anymore, but I have it on the images themselves. Okay, so done.